So you have years and years of PowerShell scripts accessing your on-premise SharePoint. And your boss says, hey, we're moving to the cloud. How am I going to run and automate scripts now? Don't worry, let's find out with Azure Automation. So using Azure Automation, we can now schedule PowerShell scripts to run just as if it were running on-premise. Let's look at an example where I talk to SharePoint online. Let's dive straight in. Okay, so I've got a SharePoint site that has got a number of lists. If I do site contents, you'll see that it's got a number of lists available in it and some hidden lists, of course. So what I'm going to do is write a bit of PowerShell, which is going to uh, enumerate these lists and display them to me. And I'm going to use this using Azure Automation. Okay, bear in mind, any PowerShells you write can be scheduled to run at different times. Scheduled, scheduled, you know what I mean. Okay, let's take a look. So I need to go to portal.azure.com. And the first thing I need to do is create a resource. So I'll click create a resource and I'm going to search for automation. And this is the one I want, Microsoft Automation. I'm going to click create and it's going to ask for a name. So I'm going to call this Roberts Dev Talk and I'm going to have to pay for it. And I'm going to add it to an existing resource group. If you didn't have one already, you need a resource group just to create that for your organization. And in this case, it's UK South. That would be uh, near to your location. So I'm going to click Create. It says Deployment in Process. And then I'm going to go to the resource. OK, so here we are. So you'll see that down here we've got Run Books. So I'm going to uh, go into Run Books in a moment. But before I do, we need to create some credentials that can be used by our PowerShell to run against SharePoint Online. So in this case, I'm going to go to Credentials. And I'm going to add a credential. And this is a user I've set up that can access SharePoint doesn't use any two-factor authentication. It's a service account. So I'm just going to put that in here now. And I'm going to type in the password to that. So I've got my password in there. I'm going to create that now. And I've got an account there to access it with. I'm going to go to Run Books. And it's got some sample ones created for me in there. But I'm going to create a Run Book. I'm going to call this SPO test. I'm going to say it's PowerShell. And I'm going to click Create. OK, and here I am. I'm in my editor screen. So if I was back in this screen, in the Run Book screen, I would just select SPO test. And in there, I would select Edit to get back to that screen. Now, in order to access SharePoint, I'm going to need a number of modules. So these modules will appear in our assets. You'll notice at the moment it's got shared assets. It's got my support user. Well, now I'm going to have to add the modules I'm going to use. So let's go through those one by one. So I go back to SBO test and I go back to Robert's Dev Talk and I can look at the modules that can be used. Well, if I go to modules gallery, it can show me all the different ones I need to add in. The first one I want to look for is MS Online. So this will just give some basic scripts that I can uh, use to access Microsoft Active Directory. And these are used by some of the SharePoint ones. So I selected that one and I click Import. Let's go back. I'm going to search for another one. I'm going to use SharePoint PMP PowerShell Online. Find that, click on it and click Import. Okay, there's one more I want to add, and that's the C Sharp object model, the CSOM one. I'm going to look at that, I'm going to import that. And these will now be added to my shared modules. So I'm going to go back to my run box. I'm going to open SPO test, click edit, 
And you'll notice in the assets, we've got our credentials. In our commandlets, we've got SharePoint. And the other ones have loaded now. So I'm going to go into here, and here's a script I prepared earlier. So if I look at my commandlets, you can see that I can load the assemblies here. That's what this is doing. I'm connecting as my credentials user, support. That's down here. And I'm connecting to my Roberts Dev Talk. And I'm going to list the title of a SharePoint site and write out all the lists. Let's give it a run. And we do that by clicking Test Pane. And then we click Start. And there's all our lists, including the hidden ones. Now, if we want to schedule this, then all we need to do is go back to our run book. We can edit it and publish it. Then we can go into Schedules. We can add a schedule, say when it's going to run and how often it occurs, create that, it will eventually come back and when it does, we'll show that it's scheduled to run. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. We really appreciate your support. If you haven't done already, please click the subscribe button and the notification icon. Also check out the link below to our website so you can join us on our developer journey.